Yo, welcome back, folks, ladies and gentlemen, people, men and women, boys and girls. Welcome back to a brand new squad builder. And as you see, we are on 2KMT Central. That's right, the website that still hasn't sponsored me. You know what? Maybe I just gotta ask. I just probably, ha I've never actually directly asked. Maybe if I ask, they'll sponsor me. At 2KMT Central, y'all trying to sponsor. I'm dedicated AF. Thanks. Mellow Mesh Gang. Alright, but anyways, we are doing a draft today, and we're doing the numbers draft, as you saw by the title. And in the past, we've done jersey numbers draft, we've done uh, highest overall, lowest overall, you name it, man. We've done stats. And I said, why not put all those together? And I came up with a way, we're gonna pick our players today in each pack. We're gonna draft 10 players to join our diamond card of the day. And we have five different ways we're gonna do it, okay? We got highest overall, lowest draft pick, highest draft pick, so you know, where they were taken in the NBA draft, lowest jersey number and then highest number and we're gonna do each of these twice we're gonna start with highest overall and then work our way down and then do it again for the next five now this is a fairly simple concept but you know we like to keep it a little bit simple when we do drafts if you guys have more creative crazy ideas for a draft let me know down below in the comments but before we get started guys subscribe if you're new man that would be great and drop a like on the video if we could get like 69 likes on the video that would be amazing so like I showed you earlier, we are going to start with highest overall. So basically, we're just going to take the highest overall player in this pack. Simple concept, and it's Jeff Hornacek. I actually do not have that card. So we got to go with the next best one. We got Darius Miles or Richard Hamilton. I'm going to go with Darius Miles because I think Darius Miles is a better card than this Ruby Richard Hamilton. All right, next one on our list is lowest draft pick. So basically, we're going to have to look at all five of these players and see where they got taken in the draft, the lowest one. Now, I know some of these. I think Kevin Knox was number nine, and the rest, I know Zaza Bochui was like a second rounder, so I'm gonna have to do some research. I'll catch y'all in a minute, bruh. Moments later. All right, Thaddeus Young was 12th overall, so it's probably not gonna be him. The boy George Mike in a Laker legend is what pick was he? Um, wasn't drafted, I guess. So uh, never mind about him. I don't even have that card, anyways. Mitch Richmond was the fifth overall pick, so it's definitely not going to be him. And then Zaza Pachulia, man, it's probably going to be Zaza Pachulia. I cannot believe this. Zaza Pachulia, out of these four guys, or out of these five guys, I mean, that's an L. That's a huge freaking er. So now we're going to take the highest draft pick instead of the lowest one. And just because you're a high draft pick doesn't mean it's going to be a good card i mean it could be a draft bus for all we know let's go check it out we have hamilton again john wall who was a number one pick now uh Plumlee and Millsap, i'm pretty sure are not gonna be a number one pick so it's either between wall and larry bird except i don't know what pick larry bird was so i'm gonna go ahead and look that up real quick larry bird was a sixth pick so not quite john wall so yeah man it's gonna be john wall for our next card now i know y'all don't want to see a ruby a basic ruby john wall gameplay where you guys could just pick him up yourselves and play with him. We're gonna go ahead and get the diamond one, because why not? Sometimes you gotta upgrade, man. I know some of you guys get mad when I do that, but look, y'all wanna see a Ruby John Wall or a diamond one? All right, for our fourth player, we're doing lowest jersey number. We're onto jersey numbers now. So basically, whatever their number is on the card, okay? It doesn't have to be a past number or their current number or whatever. So we have Julius Irving, who's number six. I don't have that card, so we can't take him. John Collins, nope. It's gonna be Brandon Knight. Oh my, Brandon Knight, huh? <laughs> and now we're gonna do the highest jersey number. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this, see what we got. We got a pink diamond, ooh. Elgin Baylor is 22. Paris LeVert is also 22. And oh my goodness, no doubt about it. We are going with pink diamond, Elgin Baylor. Let's freaking go, yo. Now continuing on to our sixth player, we're gonna go ahead and make our way back to the highest overall player. Who is it gonna be? It's a diamond card, it's Shaquille. O'Neal, baby. Yo, we just used Shaq, uh, the Pink Diamond one, last video. So if you guys haven't seen that, watch that. But we're going to go with the Magic version this time. All right, lowest draft pick now. Let's go ahead and flip. Uh, let's see what we got here. Steven Adams, uh, I think he was a first rounder. Morris Peterson, Miles Turner, Markeith Morris, and Greg Monroe. Steven Adams was the 12th overall pick. Miles Turner was 11. Morris Peterson was 21. And I don't actually have to check Markeith Morris and Greg Monroe because I know they were both lottery picks. So Morris Peterson, guys, we do get the best card out of this whole pack. That's lit, man. I like Morris Peterson. He's a good shooter. Three more players remaining, and now we're on highest draft pick. Hopefully 
hopefully we get some crazy John Stockton. I do not have that card. We have Jamal Crawford, John... K K what? Who's that? Jamal Crawford was actually the 8th pick. Okay then. Eric Bledsoe was the 18th pick. Last two players, we are back to the jersey numbers, so we're gonna do lowest one first. Here we go, we got 34, 13, 4, 3, and 11, and it looks like it's gonna be CJ McCollum. Dang, man, Paul George would've been nice. He's got a diamond card, but you know what, CJ McCollum will do. And the final player of the day, for this one, we're gonna do the highest jersey number, obviously. So we got Scottie Pippen, who, what number is that? Is that 29? I can't really tell. Bro, I'm gonna have to look these up because I cannot tell these numbers. 8.01 p.m. Okay, I just looked everybody up and the person that has the highest jersey number here is Jerry Stackhouse. He was number 42 for the Sixers, so that's a pretty nice pull there, Jerry Stackhouse. The card of the day is a throwback elite diamond player. He is a former Orlando Magic. I think he's also played for the Suns and the Heat. And he's one of those players, guys, that when you look back at it, he's one of those players that got heavily derailed by injury. Could have been could have been something special, but he was he was still a great player, but he could have been a lot more if it wasn't for injuries. It's Penny Hardaway, guys. It's Diamond Penny Hardaway looking pretty nice. Just check out the attributes. Of course, the layup is going to be good. The mid-range is good, and the three-pointers is okay. And then his specialty, of course, guys, is his athleticism, his dunking ability. Passing is going to be great. Defense and speed. So, yeah, man, that is the card of the day today. But that is not even our best player, bro. We got Shaq, and we also got that pink diamond, Elgin Baylor. Uh, he, this guy better perform, bro. He better be good, because I waited, like, two hours for this bid. Oh, my God. Why do I gotta play somebody that got a cheese lineup? I mean, look, he doesn't got a bench, but he's gonna be running his entire lineup the whole game. Look at that lineup, bro. How am I supposed to deal with that? Tell me. Tell me. Look, man, I know Danny Granger is one of those cheese cards, so we gotta be careful with it. We really gotta be careful. In fact, I'm gonna be off balling, making sure this guy doesn't get an open shot. And there he go. He gets an open shot. What on earth? Okay, there's Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway. Oh, yeah. Good screen. And Penny all the way. And one. And one. Okay, Penny. Oh, good defense by Elgin Baylor. That's that Elgin Baylor card right there. Jamal Crawford gets an open look in the corner and he misses. Jerry Stackhouse inside to Shaq. Excellent offensive movement. Shaq is a what beast is right now. Get. Oh my god. I just tried. Man, you gotta be kidding me. We got Hakeem Olajuwon knocking down three corners. Come on, bro. Oh, ooh, Penny though with a little poster. There's Elgin right there. Almost got him in the air. Elgin Baylor though getting to the line. Okay, I'll take that. Oh yeah, good steal, Shaq. Good freaking steal. Give it out to Elgin Baylor, to Jerry Stackhouse. Jerry Stackhouse wide open. Knock that down. Thank you, sir. Oh, another steal by Shaq. This Shaq card is getting steals right now. Here goes Jamal Crawford. I don't know why I passed it out. I really don't. But he gets it back, and Crawford is going to hit that. Thank you. Bro, this guy definitely has a size advantage on me. It's okay, though. We got to be confident. Man, I was trying to dunk it. Why did he pull up for a free throw? What is that? Stackhouse, knock that down. Come on, man. Come on. Shaq, those beats him right now on the boards. But he cannot score for some reason. Yeah, Ben Shooter is in right now. This team is going to be way too hard to deal with. He's just got the size advantage everywhere. Come on, man. We got to get somebody open. My goodness. There's Morris Peterson. Good pick and pop action. Why is it lagging? Okay, it doesn't matter. He made it. He made it. Yeah, this just might get out of hand soon, man. This might get out of hand. Here goes John Wall to CJ McCollum. Pick and pop action. There we go. Back to back pick and pops. I'm going to keep running the pick and pop, though. There's Morris Peterson. Oh, yeah. Good, good fake. Got him in the air and finish. Good finish, Morris Peterson. Hey, we're fighting, guys. We're fighting. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, he's playing good defense. He's playing excellent defense. But Wall gets past him. Oh, yeah. What, what the? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Zaja all the way to the basket. No way. Giving it to Darius Miles. Back to Zaja. Zaja got him in the air. Someone get open, please. There it is. Morris Peterson for three. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, dude. Hakeem Olajuwon is just knocking down three after three after three after three. Oh yeah, Penny Hardaway with a rebound. Penny, Penny. Uh, Jerry Stackhouse, there it is. There it is, Stackhouse. Knock that down for three. Half oh, Come on, man. Yo, his guys are tired right now. Like, they're legit tired. They need that freaking Gatorade. We gotta take advantage. We gotta take advantage. Baylor. Yes, Elgin Baylor finally doing stuff. As long as he doesn't push it to like an eight-point lead, we're good. Baylor again, back-to-back -back green beans. Oh, what a steal by Shaq, man. Shaq is getting some steals today. Elgin Baylor again. Elgin Baylor, that's why you're the pink diamond of the day. 
Elgin Baylor, Elgin Baylor doing his thing. Ooh, Elgin Baylor with a move. Elgin Baylor, ooh. Elgin, oh my, Elgin Baylor putting on the move. How do you keep getting, why do we keep getting blocked? Why? There's Elgin Baylor. Where is Hakeem? There it is. Go, go inside. Go inside. Yes. Oh, got everybody in the air. Let's go, Shaq. CJ McCollum, you're giving the man too much space. You're giving the man too much space. Pachulia, open inside. Yes. I was expecting a lost man, but you know what? We're fighting. We're fighting hard. CJ McCollum gets open again. Ah! Stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance. Okay, we're running. We're running. Morris Peterson to Darius Miles wide open. Man, of course that happens. I don't know why they have to cock back their arms to do a dunk. You're already right there at the rim. CJ McCollum, please get open. There's another beautiful pick and roll. Mm, good job, Zaja. Come on, CJ. Come on, CJ. You've been doing pretty well. Finding the open man, and he finds the open man again. What on earth, Pachulia? You cannot catch a ball. You can't catch a ball. All right, let's keep this lineup in one last time here. Here goes John Wall. John Wall all the way to the basket. Out to CJ McCollum. He gets open for three. You better knock that one down. Of course, man. We have to make those shots. Yes! I deserve that! Three pointer. He makes that, man. Oh my, why do people make contested three pointer? Here's a Well, there you have it, guys. I mean, we were fighting. I, I knew I probably wasn't going to win this game. I mean, do you see the guy's team? He's got two seven-footers that don't freaking miss. And then he's got Danny Granger. I don't understand how he's supposed to stop that. But we were fighting till like the end of the third quarter. We were up by like we were up by like four points, I believe. And then he pulled away. I, I couldn't stop Akeem. I couldn't do anything offensively. And then our stats disappointing, man. Elgin Baylor only three for eleven. Penny Hardaway at eight. Uh, Shaq only two points, bro. He got a lot of rebounds, but he couldn't convert it into anything. It's all good though, guys. I mean. I Sometimes you get matched up with someone that's very good. What, what can you say? But if you guys did enjoy the video though, if you guys did enjoy the rage, drop a like on the video and I'll see you on the next one guys. Peace out.